It's a time to live, a time to dance, a time to love, it's a second chance. A time for war and a time for peace On the grounds in Africa, my joy increased My spirit is dancing, harmony in the streets Smiling close to Africa is where I belong Face to face with my roots, singing a new song Staring at the land to ocean, falling in love Our ancestors was here, let's release the dove Arrived in paradise, the home of true love Get up on your feet, let's dance to the beat Get up on your feet, let's dance to the a time to grieve and a time to dance. Moving to the top, pure heart, clean hands. Do what you love while you still can. To everything a season, gone in a glance. Live a life to the fullest on a natural high. Don't worry about your needs, the most I will supply. A time to tell, talk to friends goodbye. Time to push forward, got my wings, I can fly. Get up on your feet. Let's dance to the beat. Get up on your feet. so excited honey yes so i have just had the most important wool off class there is well one of the uh, most important so i am still like in the beginning stages of learning but i know small small tootie tootie <laughs> then studying online and i will give you all more details when i do my next a video on me learning wool off. I will give you all more details on uh, where from this net. So if you all want, want to learn wool off and trying to figure out how to start, because I was like, I, first of all, I am really trying to see how to start, how to begin with this thing because this is just not a walk in the park. So how I begun was first of all in prayer. Praying, asking the Most High to give me clear direction on how do I start to learn wool off, and how do I learn? Each and every one of us have different learning styles. Now, I am a cosmetology instructor, and I had to learn different learning styles so I would be able to teach people according to the best learning style that would benefit them so with that being said I have to learn how to teach myself so I might learn different from you you may learn different from me but the most important thing is we have to figure out how could we learn this and how could we best benefit from what we trying to learn so we can retain the information okay but this is not cosmetology but it is still the same concept with learning. So family, with me, it is best to learn when I can hear and I can see. Now learning languages is like very different from learning a lot of other things and a lot of, we learn English. It is different from learning other languages. Okay, so I'll say with learning Wolof, when we see a word, we will pronounce the word a certain way in English, but the words sound totally different in Wolof or in tree. So we have to learn how to match the way that the words sound with the way that it look. And to me, that is the challenge. And the challenge was trying to retain, but the thing is repetition and the thing is sacrificing your time to put in to be able to retain and grab a hold of the information that's given said to me their input or their opinion on learning wool off and so i said no 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 it's different with me like even when i was trying to learn tree some people a couple of people said that i should wait till i arrive to ghana before i learn tree because i get around the locals and then i'll be able to learn better around the locals no no that do not work for everybody and somebody even gave an example on a sister that learned tree when she got to Ghana and hung around the locals. That would not work for me. Now, I will learn when I, when I hang around the locals. But in order for me to learn, really learn in depth, I have to get in my quiet time with the information. And I have to digest the information in my quiet and in my meditation time, in my me time. Not when everybody is around. Now, I can get with other people to 
go back and forth and discuss the information, but I need to spend time alone. That's just me. You may be different. Someone else may be different. We're all different. But the main thing is we have to find out what works for us. So with that example given, I was like, no, that would not work for me. I know me. I had taken one of the hardest subjects in my life, one of the hardest fields in my life, and that is massage therapy. You all, let me tell you all, it sounds easy. Massage therapy, I think we learn more than what nurses learn. It was intense. Like learning anatomy and physiology and just learning the muscles, the movement of the muscles, Kinesia G, all of that. It was a challenge. It was a real challenge. And I was like, I cannot get through this. I said, I am a cosmetology, not a doctor, because that's what it felt like. <laughs> Some of this stuff we was learning, doctors don't even learn. So with that being said, I had to do a lot of praying, a lot of meditation, a lot of sacrifices, getting by myself to process the information and to repeat repetition and then it started to seek in. But once I went hard on it and then it be start, it started becoming more interesting. Like it was like time to graduate, we was finished and now it's like I am just enjoying learning now. So it had to almost become a habit. So that's the same thing that is going to take with learning a different language that is so challenging. But the thing is, it's going to take sacrifice in doing so. And sometimes it's just hard to make your flesh sit down somewhere in this world that's running so fast, especially in the West. <laughs> the world going, going, going so fast. And here in Africa, it seems like time go by so fast. So you have to use your time wisely because before you know it's like the day gone. I'm like, that's why I am like, I have to start getting up so I can really get some things done and really enjoy my days because here in the motherland, anyway, so we have to give that sacrifice. So I am so happy because tonight, my boy, honey, my baby taught me with the words that I had down and he looked over them to make sure that they are correct because some of them was not correct some of so I had to make sure that they are correct so what I done I did some online I'm learning much as possible and I wrote down so many so many words I have like eight pages of words the page is full of words and I have the Wolof um, way of spelling it and the English way of spelling it. and I had to go let I wanted to let my family check over all that I have written so when I get ready to go into my hiding place and repetition the information I want to make sure that I have everything correct because I have no time to be learning the wrong way so I wanted them. And my baby, honey, M boy, he made sure that everything was correct. He went over with me and he was like, at first he thought it was just one page. Uh-uh, honey, it's seven more. <laughs> he was like, okay, just start with this. I said, uh-uh, no, 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 no. We have to keep going because I need to make sure everything that I have is correct. Because when I get over that hump, then I am going head on, baby, yes. I am about to tackle this thing. So I am so happy. Thank you, M-Boy. Thank you for your sacrifices. So I have had a couple of people here and there trying to help me. Um, he really did the most today. And I really appreciate him because he was just amazed at all I had written down. And I said, this is the whole language, ain't it? <laughs> so anyway, so it was fun even with him um, teaching me. He was trying to give his little examples and stuff. That was so fun and so beautiful, yes. So now I am past that hump and I am moving on to the next. And so, know some things, babies, hunty. Y'all get ready for your girl, I will know some things. So day by day, we're gonna take it day by day, but I have to make sure I shut down somewhere and make the sacrifices. He was like, 
when did you have time to write all this down? Because <laughs> he know that I'd be busy and I'd be in a win. He know I'd be in these Africa, these Gambian streets, honey. He already knows. So he was like amazed that I had time to write all of that down. But yes, one night I just shut down. I said, I'm not about to be doing too much internet, not on my phone, no anything. I am about to get in here and do what I have to do. So I have to make plenty nights to be just like that yeah so language when it comes to the mother tongue the native language i feel like it's so very important because we have to gain back what was taken from us over 400 years ago we have to gain it back everybody don't see it like that and that's okay everybody journey is different everybody life is different but this is my life this is my journey and we got to do this thing so I would not leave this world without gaining back everything that was taken from my most beautiful ancestors. And I will go all the way with it. I, my spirit will not be satisfied until this happened. Coming to the motherland, this is a part of me getting made whole. I have to be made whole. I am getting made whole. I have received healing and healing is yet going forth in my spirit. So, I will continue on this journey and all praises to the Most High for allowing me to come to the motherland and regain what was taken from me. To be continued, people. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> to be quiet in a time to speak knowing the difference do not make you weak i write myself happy yes that's unique be the authentic you learn the technique enjoy your life as long as you can don't sweat the haters consider them a fan shaping your life takes a positive plan we cast down fear our father is the man get up on your feet let's dance to the beat get up on your feet let's dance to the beat it's a time to live, a time to dance, a time to love, it's a second chance, a time to live.